as you can see, I'm uh, not in VPAG right now, and that's because I'm in the uh, Twilight School Zone thing. So after I uh, go to that, I'll give you some details about that in a later edition of this blog. But on the bright side, I finally got a new uh, tripod, so we can see a bunch of camera angles for your viewing pleasure. And here you can see my uh, former tripod, which uh, is being replaced, obviously. But it did a pretty good job. So I've been uh, getting a fair amount of heat for riding my bicycle in adverse weather conditions. Uh, specifically from a guy named Ronak Shah, who particularly likes to uh, give me crap for riding a bicycle. And uh, Brian Esslinger suggested that I just uh, tell everybody to shut up. It gives me grief. But, uh, but making a fool of them seems like a better idea. Or at least a more uh, fun one. So I was in uh, AutoCAD and um, Ronak was uh, saying that it was sad that I rode my bicycle in 28 degree weather. And I told him that uh, people in New York rode their bikes all the time in 20 degree weather. And he replied by saying, this isn't New York. So then I was like, what's the difference between 20 degrees in Delaware and 20 degrees in New York? And then uh, he said, there is a difference. And then my friend Aaron Jones chirped in, the weather is based on longitude. And I was like, no, the weather is based on latitude, like a ladder, because you're climbing up or down from the equator. You'd be surprised how many pansies there are who are afraid to ride their bikes because of cars or adverse weather. But it's really not that big of a deal to me. I mean, you think our founding fathers uh, drove to school in uh, Toyota Criollas? I don't think so. They had to deal with the cold, and they didn't have any Gore-Tex, or any uh, nylon, or any other synthetic fibers to help them out. They had, like, cotton and wool. So I think people now should definitely be able to handle the weather when they can. And, uh... I'd rather if I went back to school than be like these people. Another morning, another waste of energy. One day I was uh, leaving school with my helmet, as I usually do, and uh, an RTC kid about like 10 feet behind me was uh, saying to this girl, he thinks he's so macho with his helmet. And uh, I guess I do feel a little macho because, you know, how many kids you know ride their bike to school every day? Rain, shine, or snow? But uh, I'm not really that macho. I don't think so. People have just gotten uh, really lazy and uh, don't really feel like riding their bicycles anymore. But they're not just, just lazy in terms of uh, bicycle riding. The uh, office aides and community service organizations have gotten pretty lazy too. I mean, we have uh, office aides reading newspapers, uh, guidance aides talking to each other, uh, three library aides uh, looking at a website, you know, check out the school page when we have uh, books and you put away here. And then there's like this guy who's like recycling or something. I don't even know. But it's pretty stupid. I mean, especially when it's so cold outside. I mean, NHS and Interact don't really do anything. And uh, Interact only has one meeting a month. In order to be an Interact member, you have to have at least two meetings a month. So I don't even know what's up with that. And then you have like the young Republicans, and they want to get stuff on their graduation robes. And they haven't even, like, done anything. I've actually, I think, done uh, more time for the Republican Party than they have. I helped out Jan Ting early this, this uh, season. Got a sunburn, actually. And to my knowledge, these guys haven't really done anything for the Republican cause. So, I mean, you know, I'm a hardcore Republican, so it's kind of annoying. And then there's, like, the DHS EPI. They, like, recycle or something. I mean, it's only, like, one guy. So, we're pretty lame too. And of course, you know, it's a sarcasm. Um, all of our organizations and aides provide a very valuable service to the uh, general public and student body. So, let that be known. 
Well, with that, I'm going to wrap this uh, blog up. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like what you see, you can check out any of my MySpace or Zanga account. But uh, be forewarned that you may see the occasional use of the uh, first four letters of hello and the first three letters of assume. So uh, thanks again for watching.